Should we just, should we just move Quacky down to Q tier? Just further and further down. W for whitewashed. <laughs> we, we can't have a whitewashed category, Adam. We're tier listing the MCC people. We've seen all the teams now. They all got released today. So we're, we're going to judge them. We're going to judge how they're going to do in every single game and make fun of them because... Frankly, some of them aren't very good at it. I know that I would do worse, but as long as they do worse than other people in the event, then it's fine. If anyone wants to contest decisions, by the way, feel free to let me know and hop in voice chat and I can tell you why you're wrong. The first game, Bingo But Fast. I'll be honest, I think Bingo But Fast is pretty easy to sort most people. I mean, <laughs> someone has to be, okay? Someone has to be F tier. We can't have nobody in F tier. I'm sorry, Nikki. Eric. I mean, Eric's Ar just, he's going all the way up. He's, he's going off the screen. He's that good. I want to change music as well. I don't like this. It's too chill. How about this? Nope. I put shuffle on and this is the song I get. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're angry about my choices, I don't, I've never seen most of these people play. Well, I've seen them play, but I, I don't pay attention. Okay, they're, they're not people I actively watch usually. So... Blame Adam. I mean, Dan TDM. Come, come on. You know where he's going. You know exactly where he's going. He's, he's just going up there. There he goes. He wins. Dan TDM's just won. He doesn't even need to be on the board. And Dave, where's Dave going? I've actually watched Dave. So I, I have a rough idea of how good he is. And I, I feel like I want to put him, I think C tier, right? <laughs> tier, tier D for Dave. Yeah, we can do that. Dave tier. Dave. There we go. Dave tier. Fruit berries. I mean, it's fruit. Come on. Fruit is the the best player in MCC. I'll say it. Fruit is better than every other player in all of the Minecraft championships. Well, in this one anyway. Not in, in all of them, because... Yeah. <laughs> Techno was in them. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, Captain Sparkles doesn't get S tier. He gets, he gets half and half. He's slightly above S tier. I'm sorry, okay? It's, it's been too many years since I watched Hermitcraft. Okay, I, I don't remember a lot of them. I'm sorry. I never understood it, okay? I was just confused. I was sitting there watching. I was like, bro, this is a lot of blocks. What's going on? I, I just finished my, my little dirt house. And bad boy Halo, I think he's probably okay, unless someone's willing to prove me otherwise. By proving, I mean <laughs> typing a letter in chat, but that's enough to convince me nowadays. <laughs> Should we H him? H for Halo? There he goes. He's down. He's gone down. He's on He's on H tier now. Smager? I mean, it, uh, you can't, you can't not love Smager. I think here, slightly above Captain Sparkles. <laughs> Sapnap. As much as it pains me, he's A tier. I say A tier, I mean S tier. Okay, I'm just saying, because I, I think in alphabet, my my brain can't process the order of the alphabet in, in a different way. I can't comprehend S being before A unless it's on the screen in front of me. Which it is. Okay, it is. And that's a fair point. But I didn't think about that. So, Wilbur is half and half. Okay, Wilbur can go F tier, or he can go S tier. You never know. It's it's one or the other. He's either going to get the least points, or do... Well, not S tier. Either F tier or B tier, really. But I, I just think he's so inconsistent that he has to go D tier. He's got to be D for Dave, right? Cut him in half and put him in both. I don't know if I can do that. Okay, so he's... He's... <laughs> oh no, poor Wilbur. There we go. <laughs> That's what you get for being inconsistent. You cheeky fuck. Alright, Phil, S tier. I think this is pretty accurate, right? Just a quick reminder. A reminder though, because this, after all, I am the one making this tier list, okay? This represents my opinions, okay? This isn't the opinions of everyone. So it is pure fact, because it is only my opinions and it's not tainted by anyone else's. <laughs> Facts don't care about your feelings, so... <laughs> There we go, we can, we can save a screenshot of this one. This one's going in the history books as factually accurate. And I'm just saying, right? See when the when the leaderboard is looking exactly like this? When it is, you need to give me money. 
That's how this works, Finn. I've decided. Is it actually worth spending time tier listing Hole in the Wall? So, the, the problem with Hole in the Wall is everyone's been practicing it. And for anyone that isn't aware, um, Illumina spent like an hour straight doing this. 64 minutes. So yeah, Illumina got 64 minutes. So th this game will actually fucking go on until until the universe ends, really. Just gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick and I'm just gonna put everyone in S tier. Every single person in the entire thing is going S tier. We'll do Tikito Sawaf. My favorite game mode. Oh. Yo, that's a lot of penises. That is a lot of penises. I don't think I've ever seen that many penises at any one time other than a couple of times. Dan TDM is going above S tier a little bit. Actually, no, he is S tier. There goes. Now Dan TDM tier. I've decided. But Dan TDM isn't actually going to be S tier. He's going to be in B tier. SB737. Uh, probably on the tier list. I don't know enough about SB. Can he just be every tier? Can I put can I put him as tiers A through F? Is that allowed? <laughs> Once I don't know Randog. I don't He's a Hermitcraft guy. Right, let me let me figure this out. So Randog's a Hermitcraft guy, right? All I know about Hermitcraft is they build big things, so they place a lot of blocks. So it makes sense. If he's placing a lot of blocks, it makes sense for him to be good at this. So surely he has to be like B tier. Because he places a fuck ton of blocks, and all you're doing to get to the other side is place a lot of blocks. But he might not be good at the the whap the the whap part. Hold on, the whap part where you have to whack a fan, because he he does just place blocks, and that's not very good when it gets to whacking a fan. So I think he's gonna move down to C tier for that. Um, and then I don't know who he is, so I'm gonna move him down to D tier for that. Uh, he does have cool sunglasses though. And I also have cool sunglasses on my skin. And personally, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm going to move him down to E tier for that one. So I think E tier. All right, Fruit's going in, in, in S tier. <laughs> Should, can I just leave Fruit up in S tier for the whole time? And no, I said the WAF part, the whack a fan part. Okay, I didn't say WAP. I didn't say WAP. Don't put, don't put words in my mouth. And then Cub Fan is going in C tier? I feel like Cub Fan is probably pretty good at this one. He's... He looks like he has a shiny fucking head. So maybe he can like blame the other runners and then just get ahead of them. See, yeah, C for Cub fan, exactly. <laughs> Wait, no, B for bald. B for bald tier. All right, Captain Sparkles. He's going to be in B tier because he's he's coming third on the tier list. Should we just, should we just move Quacky down to Q tier? All the way down. Just further and further down. W for whitewashed. <laughs> We we can't have a whitewashed category, Adam. Oh no. <laughs> no, we can. Anyway, he's going down to W. W for whitewashed. Uh Sapnap. He can go into D for Dilf. Green. Where's Green going? Alright, here here's the problem with Green on this game mode. I think he's gonna get distracted and he's gonna build a fucking house. He's not gonna actually play the game. He's just gonna sit there. And build a really cool house. He's gonna flex, sure, but he's not gonna whack a fan and he's not gonna get to the other side unless he builds the fanciest bridge ever. So for that, I'm gonna put him in in a H. H for house tier. H for house. So Wilbur, whenever Wilbur's probably my most watched person in MCC. And once again, he's very half and half. He'll either get like top six or last three. I don't think he's as consistently half and half in this. He's probably like this amount in S tier, and then this amount in E tier, I reckon. I think that's probably the best way. Maybe... No, because I think he's probably partially C tier. Another half in D tier, right? We'll put his little nose in F tier. That's what we'll do. The nose goes in F tier. There we go. This time, just because I, cause I feel bad for the guy. And, <laughs> you know, really, I, I'm sure he, he would have done well. But let's, let's rank this team. This team sadly won't actually be making it to MCC this time.
But let's rank the Rambo team. Where is Rambo number one go? I think Rambo is pretty good at this. He's got to be A tier, but he's also new, so he's going to be F tier, I think. But then again, he could be just pretty average and go D tier or C tier. Uh, no, I think part of him is A tier, part of him is down TDM tier. I think this is this is the definitive list. Above S? Okay, all right, well, there we go. He's slightly above Dan TDM tier. Dodgeball or Battle... Let's do Battlebox. I think Battlebox is, is going to be an interesting one. Phil's A tier. Phil is... I mean, Phil's just a god. Uh, also, before we continue, I'm going to... I'm just going to rank this team as well. I don't know if Pete's, like, insane at this. We, should we make it Pete tier? Pete tier, and then we'll get a couple of Pete's going on in there. Just a few, because he's that good. Can, oh, can I do it like a playing card? A sap nap playing card? Hold on. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Hold on. Shit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I kind of realized pretty quick it wasn't going to work out the way I was hoping. It was a bit too long. There you go. I think that's all the teams, right? Yeah, definitive list for how people are going to do in Battle Box. Here we are. The final hurdle. Rating every single team. We got all of them listed here. The Red Rabbits, the Orange Ocelots, Yellow Yaks, Lame Llamas, Green Guardians, Cyan Creepers, Aquacs, Axolotls, Blue Bats and Purple Pandas, and Pink Parrot. Who's going 10? Who would you guys say is number 10? Personally, I think it's going to be Yellow. I reckon. No, Aqua's not going to be... Aqua's going to be 8. Okay, Cyan's going to be 9. Lame is going to be 6. Is orange going to be... I think orange is going to be 7, right? Or orange 8, maybe? I think orange 8, aqua 7. Um, Blue? Blue's going to come in at 5th? I think Sapnap's going to carry harder than Pete, depending on the games, obviously. But We go blue, purple. Hmm. So we got red, green, and pink. I think that red is going to be number 3. Going to get Going to get real controversial here. And I'm going to put green at number two. Yeah, that, that's right. I, <laughs> I, know it's, I know it's controversial. I know it is. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Adam. But I, I just have the facts. All right. Green is going number two. Because down at number 11 is where we're putting the pink pirates. Okay, they, they, don't, they don't even place. They, they straight up do not place. They go 11. And you know who comes number one? Rambo's team. Because Rambo is going to win. I don't care that he's not in the event. He is winning. If you dare argue with me on that, you are wrong. Rambo is going to win. All four Rambos. If, if you really still think that Pink Parrots are going to beat four Rambos, you are wrong. Get out of this stream right now. Because this is the definitive order as to where every single team is going to place. Don't even argue. Everyone knows it's true. If you're saying it's wrong, you're in denial. Anyways, I'm glad we got that, that over and done with.